This might have to be one of the best looking bags at this price point I have ever seen. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything that you need to know about the Demelia Vancouver bag from the dimensions, the price to what fits inside and outfit styling. I'll also be covering pros and cons that I can see with this bag. And make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll be revealing my final verdict is this bag worth buying? Hey everyone, Steph here. If you are new to this channel and love all things luxury, you my friends are in exactly the right place because we get it and not everyone does. So make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. The Demelia Vancouver bag. Okay, everything that you need to know about this. So I have two of these bags. First, I got the taupe colorway here with the gold hardware on the front. They only come with gold hardware and at this moment in time anyway. And then I recently purchased the black version of this bag as well. And since I've started posting pictures of these over on my Instagram, if you aren't following me already, my handle is at handbag underscore holic. I have not had honestly so many requests for people asking me to do a review of this bag. So it's finally here everything that you need to know. If you feel like this bag is one that you want to add to your collection, I will pop a link in the description box down below for you. And you can also go and check out the rest of the range from Demelia. Now a little bit about this brand, because I know a lot of people haven't heard of it. It only recently came on my radar and it's when I started to see this specific bag on my feed, mostly on Instagram. And as soon as I saw it, I just started to fall in love with its gorgeous looks. So the brand is based in London. All of the bags are designed in London and then the bags are actually made in Spain and Italy. They offer free monogramming so you can personalize a lot of these bags on orders and they also, I have noticed on product pages, offer lifetime warranties on these pieces. So I'm assuming if anything breaks functionality wise, something that isn't wear and tear, but say if some stitching comes undone or something goes wrong with the bag, lifetime repairs. That is brilliant for the price point of this bag. We'll come on to price in a second. The brand also says that it only uses the finest materials that it's able to source. And I can tell you from seeing these in person, like the leather smells so beautiful. Sometimes for this price point, you get pieces that don't, I don't know, even, even for higher price points, actually, they kind of don't feel like the highest quality fabrics that they're using, but this leather does feel really beautiful and it smells really beautiful as well. Now, let me show you around the bag. It is worth noting at the time this video comes out, my Farfetch code should still be live. So Demelia is a brand that is often featured on the Farfetch website. I will flash the code on the screen down below for you and I will put details in the description box. So if you buy from Farfetch, you will be able to get an additional discount on some of these pieces. And I got this black one here from Farfetch, which is one of my favorite online luxury retailers. Okay, let me show you around. Now I still have the plastic on this one because this is the latest one that has just arrived, but it has this beautiful shape. It is quite a large bag. This reminds me of the Celine Teen Triumph a little bit. It's quite boxy and also the Dior Bobby bag, but again, a fraction of the price, which we'll come on to in a second. The sides of the bag are very simple here. The back of the bag, there is no pocket on the back of the bag. It is just a line of stitching here, but can we appreciate how beautiful the stitching is? The bottom of the bag, it does not have any feet of any sorts. It is just the leather here. The top of the bag, you have these gold bits on top. And then with the strap, you can double it up and wear it as a shoulder bag. We'll be doing some outfit styling further on in the video for some inspiration. You can adjust it here. So wh which one is this one on? This one is in the middle setting. You can see there's another hole there and one there if you wanted to adjust this slightly and then if you want to wear this as a shoulder bag you just pull the strap through i'm five foot six for reference and you can cross body it as well so in terms of the dimensions the width of the bag so across here is 23 centimeters or nine inches the height of the bag is 18 centimeters or seven inches the depth is seven centimeters or three inches the strap length is 106 centimeters and extends out to 116 centimeters. The weight of the bag is around 600 grams. So if anyone wants to know how heavy or light this bag is, I would say, I wouldn't say this is a light bag. It is stuffed at the moment, it has got things inside. It's also not the heaviest bag, but I feel like 
it does feel like a really quality piece and I sometimes think a quality piece does come with a little bit of weight. Now let's take a look inside. This is my taupe version of the exact same bag here. So to open the bag, there's a little thing here. See Demelia. Push this up and it releases the lock on the front of the bag. Now I do have this stuffed. Take that out. And then inside of the bag here, we will be going through what fits inside further on in the video, but it is lined with a beautiful black, kind of like cotton inside. It has a zipper compartment here. So you can keep your items secure. And then it also has an additional pocket at the front here, but this is quite a, a thin pocket. I would say this is perfect for any like documents, like passport, pieces of paper, anything like that. And then to close it, you simply close it like this, place it down and just gently push. And then the bag is locked. So you cannot get into the bag. So it's a very secure bag until you push that up there and then that opens the bag. So how much will a Vancouver bag set you back? The price point for this I think is incredible to say that this is like an all leather bag as well. So this one currently retails in the UK at £360 but you can also get mock croc effect and also lizard effect. Those ones generally retail at slightly more at £390. I will also flash the dollar amount on the screen for you. But I would say that this bag in terms of its looks and its size is very comparable to the Celine Teen Triumph bag. Now I will say I have I've tried the Triumph bag on and the black shiny leather for example it's quite a bit shinier than these leathers here but yeah the price point is wildly different like you can buy I think about six of the Vancouver bag for one Celine Teen Triumph bag. This also comes in a wide, wide range of colors, which I am loving. That's why I already have two of them. Let's take a quick look at the color options. Now it's also worth noting that a few weeks ago Demelia actually released another version of the Vancouver bag. It is more of a wallet on chain so it has a chain strap. It has a little top handle as well and they are just so adorable. I think these are definitely geared more towards the evening or if you prefer a smaller bag. This one is definitely, it's quite a big bag, like you can fit quite a lot inside. So it's really great to see this new variation as well and I can definitely see one ending up in my collection very soon. Now let's take a look at what fits inside. Here we go. So I'm going to start with my full-size Louis Vuitton Capucine purse. This does not fit in many of my bags. It actually fits. Now I would say that this is a very large piece so I'm going to take this out and swap it with my Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse. That fits in there fine. I'm also going to put in here my Saint Laurent card holder. I have a small sized book. All of that fits in there perfectly fine. My set of car keys and house keys, my iPhone. This is the normal size iPhone. I'm gonna put this in the front of the bag. A plus size will fit no problem. A lipstick, a small perfume, a hair brush. All of that fits in fine. So I've got all my everyday essentials and the bag closers and all those fit in fine. So I've taken all those out now and just to check my noise cancelling headphones, they do fit inside. I can get my phone and my keys in here and a few smaller items as well because I love carrying these around with me. And just to demonstrate, this is like a full size normal bottle of water, it is empty. It will not stand up in the bag, but if you lay it down at the bottom, it fits. Now let's try on the Vancouver bag with a few different outfits to give you some inspiration on how you might style this piece. I will pop links to everything that is available that we try this bag on with in the description box so that you can shop this video super easily. So this is a really simple look. I have just gone with a white button down blouse and some black carrot fit trousers from Zara. The taupe and the black, which color to go for with this outfit? I feel like both work, but I feel like the black and the gold has a slightly edgier look. This just super simple. You could dress this up and down with like heels or trainers. You can wear a coat, you could not wear a coat. I love it, doubling the straps over, my favorite way to wear this bag. And now let's crossbody it and see what this looks like. Again, I'm five foot six four reference, and this is on the middle setting, you can adjust the strap. Black bodysuit here with the black tie around the top of the trousers. And then the bag just works so perfectly with this. Look, let's cross body it, which literally takes a second. You just pull the strap out, super easy look. Maybe roll these up slightly actually. 
And here I have a printed blouse from Zara and the high-waisted trousers again from Zara in colour Oyster. And here is the taupe so smooth version of the Vancouver bag. I think this ties in really nicely, even though they're kind of different shades, this bag brings this outfit together. Here we are cross-bodying it. I love this look. This is one I'm going to be wearing a lot in spring. Pros and cons that I can see with this bag. Now, I've only had this soft taupe one in my collection for a very small amount of time now, but I have had chance to use it a few times. The black one here, I have literally pretty much just received, so this one has not left the house yet. So I can give you a bit of an idea of the pros and cons. I've also done quite a lot of research on this bag myself. So let's start with some of the pros. The price point of this bag and like the exceptional quality that you're getting, like the stitching is so beautiful, the hardware, like the presence of the bag for 360 pound. And I definitely think it's kind of aesthetic, competes with brands like Celine with the Teen Triumph. But with the Celine bag, for example, they are wildly more expensive. So I think this is a fantastic option as a day bag. It's also quite refreshing to wear a bag and use a bag myself that isn't too expensive. So even though obviously I want to keep this in like the best condition, I will treat it like I do all my other bags. It's also like less of a worry when you're walking around with a lesser expensive bag and also a brand that is, I would say, a lot more silent luxury. Like if you know, you know, like you know this is a Vancouver bag, but because I wouldn't say like the Demelia brand is well known everywhere, this is a brand that is worn quite a lot by the royal family. So Kate Middleton, she really likes the Demelia brand. I've not seen her with the Vancouver, but I have seen her with other styles of bag from the brand. And I think because the price point is so great, if there are a few colors that you like, it's not completely out of this world, especially if you use my Farfetch discount code to get a bit of discount off these. You can buy them in in multiple colors so that you can wear them for different occasions. The next pro is this bag's presence. I wore this in one of my shopping vlogs recently when we went to London, we did pre-loved bag shopping. And honestly, the amount of people on the shorts that I posted, the reels and the video, they were like, what bag are you wearing? I was wearing this bag, okay, in that vlog, next to bags that cost 50,000 pounds plus. And people were saying, where is your bag from? That is how much people like this and I completely get it like the presence of this bag I first saw it on Instagram and I was like I need to know more about this what bag is it what brand is it how much does it cost I really really would like to add one to my collection it is now here and I can confirm this bag just has the most wonderful presence it really does get noticed the other pro about this bag I think is how secure it is so again you cannot open this it is really secure down there I have found this uh, fastening really easy to use you do have to push the bottom of it to release the clasp here. Quite easy to close as well, it just clicks into place. So I really like that this is a secure piece. And the other point that I really like about this, so a huge pro is that you can use this strap in different ways. Now I actually really like this bag mostly as a shoulder bag. Like I just think it looks so cool as a shoulder bag, but also you don't need to faff around, like you literally just pull the strap through. Here we go, this is how easy it is and then you have your longer strap so you can very easily change it you don't have to undo anything and i think that is a great pro for this bag the cons that i can see with this bag now there is a glaringly obvious con with this bag that is the hardware and the hardware scratching so on this black version i haven't actually taken the plastic off yet and that is because i think i'm going to trim the plastic and try and keep this plastic on this hardware for as long as I possibly can. I really hope I'm going to try and find some kind of hardware protectors or alternatives to this because I have noticed on this one because I have worn it a few times, there are already a few scratches. Also fingerprints here. So fingerprints, it loves to attract fingerprints. So that's a bit of a con. You might be able to see there are some kind of light scratches already happening to the hardware. Now, if this is a huge concern, I will say, check out the, I think it's the London bag. And this one has a lot less hardware. Like it just has a little bit of gold on it. Now I personally decided, I, I knew about this issue before I got this and I just decided I like the look of this bag enough. And if I'd have known this sooner, when these come with like the little plastic strips on, like the black one, I wouldn't have taken them off so quickly. And I would have tried to trim them to keep them on the hardware. 
The second con is that the strap of this bag is very much a day strap. It is quite a, you know, thick leather strap. It's not delicate like a chain and you cannot take this, I guess technically you could take this strap off, but there's no other way that you could attach like another strap to this, like a chain strap. It would be really cool if this had some like little, I don't know, some little hoops at the top so you could attach a chain to it. But I guess overall this kind of size of this bag probably wouldn't lend itself very easily either to an evening bag. So I guess a bit of a con here is even though this has a really cool presence, personally I would only ever really use this in the day because it doesn't have that evening vibe about it. The wallet on chain version, however, I would definitely say that has more of the evening vibes. And because these are all at such a great price point, I definitely think you can justify a day version and an evening version. And another con of this bag, but I am going off other reviews on this one because I haven't experienced it yet because I haven't had this bag long enough. Some people have said that this bit here on the bag starts to kind of dint over time due to pressure. And that is due to opening the lock. And then if the bag is empty, people pressing down too hard and kind of crushing the bag. So then that puts stress on this part of the bag. I will say, I mean, again, I've not had this for the longest time. But if you do take a bit of care, make sure it's lined up and then just gently push the bag. I think it locks really easily. So I can't see that happening with this bag. I don't know if the design has changed, um, but I just thought I would raise awareness of that because I have watched some reviews where this bit here is slightly creased due to the pressure of closing the bag. But definitely no signs of that here. I will do an updated review of this maybe in the future once I've had chance to really put it to the test. My final verdict on the Vancouver bag then, is it worth getting? I think this bag is an absolute no-brainer. You probably figured that out because that is why I have two of them already. I just think they are fabulous. For the price point, for the quality of the leather that you are getting, the presence of the overall bag, this works perfectly as a day bag, crossbodying it, shouldering it, it really does get noticed. I've had quite a few people ask me where this bag is from and loads of you over on social media where it's from as well, which is testament to how beautiful this bag is. And I definitely think we are going to be seeing more of brands like Demelia. Though I think this is really similar and comparable to Palen. So you are getting the beautiful leathers, the craftsmanship. It feels as well like these brands care a lot about the sustainability of the items, how they are ethically sourced and produced but you aren't paying the huge price tags that you are paying when it comes to huge luxury fashion houses. And let's face it, that is what you are paying for. We all know that. Like when it comes to Chanel, Dior, all those huge brands, you are paying for the brand. And I'm definitely not bashing them. I have a lot of uh, those bags in my collection. I'm truly blessed and grateful to have those. But sometimes it is nice to have a piece where you're feeling like you're getting really great value for money. 360 pounds, like the price is just mind blowing. And due to that reason, the Vancouver is definitely not going to be my last purchase from Demelia. I'm really excited to start exploring the brand even more. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is it a brand that you've heard of? Will you now be looking into the brand? Let me know and I would definitely be chatting to you down in the comments. If you are interested in this brand, make sure you subscribe because I have no doubt in the near future I will be doing a full Demelia collection review. That is how much I am in love with these pieces. But for now, make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I link my latest video release here for you. And over here, we are going luxury shopping in London. There is so much eye candy in these videos, guys.